This is a lesson summary video for the task titled, Get to the Point. This is a solidify understanding task. The purpose of this lesson is for students to solidify graphical, numerical, and algebraic strategies for solving a system of two linear equations. Let's look at a couple of examples. So two times Antonio's age plus three times Sarah's age equals 34. Sarah's age is also five times Antonio's age. How old is Sarah? So let's start by writing a couple of equations. Uh, whenever I have a word problem, I like to define my variables. So A is going to represent Antonio's age, and S is going to represent Sarah's age. So two times Antonio's age plus three times Sarah's age equals 34. And then Sarah's age is five times Antonio's age. All right, so if we were to solve graphically, so I have my graph right here, I just need to graph uh, my two equations. So I'll make the x-axis represent Antonio's age and the y-axis represent Sarah's age. So to graph s equals 5a, that would be the same thing as like y equals 5x. So I'd start with my y-intercept at 0, and then I will uh, go up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and over 1, and then another over up 5 and over 1, and go ahead and put my line. Right, to graph my other equation, I'm going to use the x and y intercepts. I'll substitute 0 in for a to find the y-intercept. That gives me 3s equals 34. And when I divide by 3 on both sides of the equation, I have 11 and 1 third. So my s-axis here, I'll go 11 and a third around up there. And then I'll find my x-intercept. So I have 2a equals 34. And I divide both sides by 2. And I have a equals 17, which would be over here. So I'm off my graph, which is unfortunate. But uh, I can go ahead and draw my line. And I can see from my line that it's a little difficult to tell exactly where these two lines intersect, because I want that intersection point. So I'm thinking that maybe using the graph isn't the most efficient way to solve this problem. So I'm going to use a method called substitution. For substitution, all I need to do is, since s equals 5a, I'm going to put that 5a, I'm going to substitute it in for s. So s equals 5a, so I'm going to take s out and substitute in 5a. So I'll copy down this 2a plus 3, then I'll use parentheses to show that 5a is going to go in the place of s. And now I just need to solve my equation. So I have 2a plus, multiply here to get 15a, equals 34. When I add, I have 17a equals 34. When I divide both sides by 17, I have a equals 2, which does look like what I had on my graph. So to find uh, Sarah's age, all I need to do is substitute this 2 for a back into one of the equations. So I'll use s equals 5a, so s equals 5 times 2, and I have 10. So Antonio is 2, and Sarah is 10 which answers my question. So again, this is the substitution method where you substitute one part of... Do, 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 do. All right, let's look at another example. Lucy and Barbara began saving money the same week. The table below shows the models for the amount of money Lucy and Barbara had saved after X weeks. So Lucy's saving is f of X, so 10X plus five, so 10 weeks plus five, and then Barbara's savings, 7.5 times the weeks plus 25. So after how many weeks will Lucy and Barbara have the same amount of money saved? So if we want to know when their amount of money is the same, we want to set f of x, which is Lucy's savings, equal to g of x, which is Barbara's savings. And then we'll solve for x, which x represents the number of weeks. 
So that gives me 10x plus 5 equals 7.5x plus 25. Now I just need to solve my equation. I'm going to start by subtracting 7.5x on both sides of the equation. That gives me 2.5x plus 5 equals 25. Next I'll subtract 5 on both sides of the equation. That gives me 2.5x equals 20. Then I'll divide both sides of the equation by 2.5, and I get that x is equal to 8. 20 divided by 2.5 is 8. So after how many weeks will Lucy and Barbara have the same amount of money saved? 8 weeks. I can check my answer by substituting it back into the problem. So if I substitute 8 here, I have 10 times 8 to give me 80 plus 5 is 85. When I substitute in 8 for x here, I have 7.5 times 8 would give me 60. 60 plus 25 is also 85. So I know that this is the right answer. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.